So once we've had a look at all of those other components, we'll also have a look at enabling drill down and drill anywhere. And you will have explored what these features are in the consumer training. And what we're going to learn today is how to incorporate those into the report. So it's really, it's very easy. It's just a matter of switching them on uh, and you'll see that shortly. So what we're going to do now is just leave this storyboard. So we'll just click close and we're going to start building our reports. So I'm just going to click on create. So I'm going to do that through the left nav. So the left navigation panel. Now, if you don't have this panel or you don't have this button here, you will have a yellow create button in your main toolbar. It's exactly the same process. It's just that the button is in a different place. So your administrator may have chosen to put it there instead. I'm going to click on this here. And what I'm going to do is click report. So from here, I have this lovely little pop up that's a little bit confusing if you don't know what it all means. Uh, but once you do, it's very easy. So what it's basically saying is here are all the views that you can use to build your reports. And remember, at its core, a view is just a set of fields that you can use. So say you're not sure which one you want to use, what you can do is hover over them and go to more details. And you'll get this little pop-up that shows you all of the fields that are in there. So if you're still not sure, you can click on a field and get a description. But if you're still not sure that this is the view that you're meant to be using, it's probably worth asking whoever designed your views. Um, it'll be your system administrator or an advanced user. So just ask them. And once you're familiar with what each view is for, it'll be very easy to select the correct one. So I'm going to use Ski Team in this training. And we're going to be using that throughout all of the technical training. And once we select our view, we're taken to our report builder. So on the left hand side, we have our list of fields. And what I need to do is just open up these folders and explore what fields I have. So to start building, I'm simply going to drag some fields into my report area. Now the report area is on the right hand side here. And I can drag straight into this preview area here or into the columns or rows area. So I'm going to drag there because it's a habit. <laughs> and then I'm going to drag another field. So you're going to notice a few things. Initially, you'll notice, hopefully, that our fields have ended up in this columns list. And that's by default. Uh, so that's fine. Another thing you'll notice is my invoiced amount now has some on the front of it. That's because my administrator has told the view builder that by default, we want to aggregate this using the sum aggregation. So it's going to add up all of our invoice values for each year and show us the total. Now, if I want to change that, I can click on the little arrow on my field. So see there's this little arrow at the top here. I just click on that and I go to aggregation and I may remove that for now and see what that looks like. So basically it's going to show me each unique value for it, all the years that I have data for. If I want to change that, I can use this menu again. Alternatively, I can find the same menu in the columns list here. So I might sum that back up. Okay. Another thing you might notice is that my field is hyperlinked. And this is actually because it's part of a drill hierarchy. So if I go back to my time folder, so I'll just open this up, you can see that the year field has a little link to all of these other fields. So we've got year, quarter, month, invoice date. This is letting me know, this little line here, is letting me know that this is a drill down hierarchy. And as soon as I drag one of the fields from this hierarchy into my report, and I have drill down enabled, which is by default, 
the fields will become hyperlinked and I'll be able to click on them and drill down. And it all happens automatically. So it's pretty easy to use drill down. All you have to do is drag one of the fields from a hierarchy into your report and turn on drill down. Now if you were to try and drag a second field in, Yellowfin won't let you because you can only have one level of the hierarchy in a report at any one time. If I wanted both year and quarter, I would just disable drill and then I can drag it in. Okay. So let me just remove that and to remove a field, I just pick up the field and drag it outside of the container. That just removes it. Alternatively, I just put it back in. I could just delete the field. Okay. So we've had a really quick look at aggregation. It's very easy to apply. We've also looked at enabling drill down. We can do the same with, with drill anywhere. So as long as the field has been specified as drill anywhere enabled in the view, it'll be hyperlinked and you can see we can drill anywhere. Okay, so I'll just disable that for now. The next thing we're going to have a look at is those uh, sections. So I'm just going to find a field that I can split my table up by. So I might split it by demographic and instead of dragging it into my preview or columns or rows area, I'll drag it into my sections area. And what you'll see is we have this title here that's telling me we're looking at the adventure demographic. Now, at the moment, I'm on what we call the data step of our builder. So it's the very first step. And in order to keep this step of the builder as fast and responsive as possible, we limit what we see in this preview. So it's just a, a limited set. So in order to see how our sections really work, we're going to travel to the output step. And you can see I'm skipping the charts for now and just going straight to output. And what you'll see now is we have a table for each value for demographic. So while we're here, I'm just going to show you how to format sections. So if I go to my formatting menu, and I should mention, all of these menus across the top here are related to formatting. And if I hover over, I'll get the name, the name of each item. So I'll go to Sections, and I'll select my section field on the left. And I'm going to say, I'm going to change the style from single page, which means we see all of the sections on one page, to multiple page. And now you'll see I get little arrows here and I can move between my sections. Alternatively, and I find uh, this one of the easier options to use, we can change this to tabbed. And this creates a tab for each value. And the user can simply switch between those. 